Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the typical application of the PoE++ switch. The PoE++ switch implements the IEEE AO2.3BT standard. It can output 90 watts through a single Ethernet port. The regular PoE only can output 30 watts. It increases the power from 30 watts to 90 watts. It's a lot of power. It's about three times PoE power budget than the regular PoE. The secret the new PoE standard can output such high power because it's taking all the four tricks pair in this Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable to send the power. In the standard PoE and PoE Plus, it only takes half of the tricks pair to send the power. This is one of the reasons why the new PoE standard can output 90 watt high power PoE budget. Here we got the four port PoE Plus Plus switch. Port 1 and port 2 can output 90 watt. Port 3 and port 4 is just the regular PoE it output 30 watt maximum. This is the uplink port. From the back end, we can see the power source is not built in. It needs to work with this external power adapter. This is the 180 watt power supply unit. So we need to connect the power supply unit to the back end of the switch. You may wonder why we need to separate the power from this small box. The reason is if we just build this high power adapter into this case, we need to make the case very large. There's conversion between the AC to DC and there are always power loss during the conversion. There's no 100% efficiency. So during the conversion, it will generate the heat. For this high power 180 watt, if the case is too small, then it will increase the temperature inside this box. That's the reason why we need to use this external power supply unit. It's more reasonable to separate the power from this compact PoE switch. There are several typical applications. The first one is the surveillance system. In some of the IP cameras with the heater built-in, such as the Pentel zoom camera, it needs more than 30 watts. Then in that case, we can use this PoE++ switch to supply the power for that camera. Or we also see some of the cameras with multiple sensors. You also need more than 30 watts. That's the, the, another application from the surveillance system. The second application is the access point. This is the outdoor access point from the next gear. It's the Wi-Fi 6 version. It need more than 30 watts. And more importantly, this access point don't have external power source, which means we only can use the PoE to supply the power for this access point. It doesn't take in any external power source. That's the Typical application. For the small IP camera, we may still need to use the PoE++ switch. If the distance between this IP camera and network video recorder is beyond 300 feet, let's say there's 1,000 feet between the camera and network video recorder, then we can use this PoE standard to repeat the PoE network. But the PoE standard, it never repeats the power, it just repeats the data, because the power cannot be regenerated. Once it lost, it will lost forever. So if we just use the 30 watt PoE switch to send the power up to 1,000 feet, we will not have enough power for the PoE plus IP camera because the distance between the camera and the switch is too long. It's about three times than the 328 feet. In that case, we can use 90 watt PoE injector to inject a 90 watt power to the Ethernet cable and it will travel through the cable and reach to the camera. Then we still have enough power to power the IP camera. There are some new applications such like the LED, PoE LED. It's a very interesting area. We can use this PoE switch to send the power, 90 watt high power to a PoE LED control. Then control will distribute the power to different LED lamps. And more importantly, once we connect the LED to the network, it can integrate it to the building automation. Let's say if there's fire alarm, we can set the LED to light up and guide the people to walk to the fire ECs. There are some other areas such like the NASH, Network Attainment Service, access control, industry control, which require high power. It can take the advantage of PoE++ switch. Before I end this video, I would like to make a quick demonstration to use this PoE++ switch to power another switch. This is the outdoor PoE switch. We can install this switch outdoor and connect multiple IP devices such like a camera access point to the switch. The outdoor PoE switch is IP6 waterproof, but the one thing is still need the power, right? Instead, using, using the external power to power this switch, 
I'm going to use this PoE power switch to send the power through internet cable to one of the ports. Okay. First, let me connect the cable to the port number eight. This is the port which can take the power from the PoE switch or PoE injector. All right, let's move back to the PoE, part, PoE switch. I will connect to port one and port two. Remember, port one and port two can output 90 watt high power. Now we'll connect the power supply to the AC power LED. Once I connect in, we can see the indicators on, which means the switch is getting the power. It's also supply the power for the edge switch. Now let's move to the new the PoE switch. Okay, I still need a short punch code. This short punch code to link one of the PoE port to the camera. This is the IP camera. Once I connect in, I can hear the camera is moving its motorized zoom camera. Okay, the last thing, one last thing, I use this strong punch, punch code to link the switch to the network video recorder so we can see the live video on the monitor. I think the camera's live now. Yes, it's live now. This is the motorized zoom camera. You need to zoom in, zoom now to find the best focus. So in this application, we are using the single Ethernet cable to send the power to the second, another auto PoE switch. So we can connect multiple camera to this switch. It can save the way to put a multiple cable to each of the IP device. Or in some application, if the cable is exists, then you do need to rewire the new cable to the new IP device. We can reuse the existing cable to expand the PoE, PoE power port. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.